What's going on guys and welcome back to the next castle update video today What we are going to be doing is looking through the current entries to the castle contest and also Very big news open your ears and put on your hearing hats or whatever and Be prepared for a major major announcement for those of you that are really pushing to try to finish your castles the due date is being extended to March, February, March, yes, March 20th, so that would be one extra month to work on your castles. Now the reason why I want that to be is there's only two castles, or maybe three castles that I know of that are close to being finished, and they could probably finish that in the seven days, which is okay, but what I think is I've had multiple people ask me to extend the uh, castle contest and I think that it would be best to do so because I've been going around to all these different castles and they're like there's so much that isn't done and I think that a little bit of extra time will help you guys to be able to produce your castles because um, I'm sure as you're coming around to crunch time that you're having a difficult time trying to figure out you know what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, etc. So I hope that there's no one out there that's going to be angry at this, that's going to say, oh no. Um, but the thing is, is if you do finish it before the 20th, I am going to figure out if we can give you a bonus or something. Like, um, if you can finish it on the 20th, then... I'm gonna see if there's gonna be some sort of, like I said, some sort of bonus that we can put in there, something to make it so that it's still fair for those of you that have put a lot of hard work into trying to finish in on time. So um, yeah, I, that's that's what we'll do. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work out, but yeah, a bonus will be put in, maybe five extra points. I don't know how the whole point system is gonna work out, but while we're judging, we'll have like a certain system and. Um, you guys will have a bonus so definitely you got to make sure that I know that your castle is um, you know finished so if you want to submit your castle to me go ahead and just um, PM me on my YouTube or my planet Minecraft and tell me your castle put screenshots of your castle there and uh, tell me your in-game names and such and I will definitely keep that for future reference. So yeah, cool beans. Anyway, this is Lego Goobs, Lego Goobs uh, Castle and Phil, Phil's Castle. Um, there's thing, I think they're still working on this. I haven't seen it in a while, but uh, they are doing a pretty good job on that. So pretty cool beans. Let's go on to the next because um, we have a lot to cover today. There are a lot of entries, a lot of different things that uh, people are working on that uh, we need to look at. So P time, 1200. All right, so this one is by Thraegolus. However, this one I don't think is going to be finished because Thraegolus is right now working with Franz, and that's going to be later in this video. We're going to be looking at that castle, which I am actually very, very, um, I love a lot. It's a beautiful castle, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. But anyways, yes, this is Thraegolus' castle. It looks very nice. I really am enjoying the, uh, the architecture of it, and uh, it really has a nice pop, so pretty pretty cool now we're gonna go on to the next one so that would be C oh, come on C1 that would be C2 okay so now we are at Killer Kazuya's plot um, this is also with Red Ranger and some other people uh, don't be offended if I don't get your name right because uh, you know I all I need to do is tell you know who the who the plot owner is and that is Killer Kazuya and uh, the rest of the team and such and the ones that I personally know um, and then there might be other people on the team as well but you know these teams are so like um, you know they change all the time so it's not really worth trying to figure it out all the time but anyway I really like this tower here this is really cool that's really nice um, they're going for that very um, I've seen this on Pinterest these kind of roofs and it's a really interesting design very very fantasy very interesting um, it looks quite nice you know you come up the path here you walk up to the castle you have a nice little uh, bridge going across this gorge and you get into the castle and such and I think that's pretty interesting and uh, they still have a lot more to do and I think that with an extra month they might be able to finish this because um, I really don't think that this is going to be able to be finished in seven days because the interiors still have a lot to be desired. Um, I mean, there are some finished interiors like there, and 
but like mainly the towers and such it seems aren't finished and um, I think that that just a little bit of extra time will help them so again March 20th is when the new due date is and uh, I would love to see a lot of finished castles because that will really help us out um, you know we really want to have a lot of interesting entries a lot of good things so yeah cool beans now we're gonna go on to the next one C3 all right, so C3 is the one by Vaughn, Vaughn Tull, um, where is it, F1, yeah. Vaughn Tull, Vaughn Tull, something like that. Uh, very interesting castle, I still really like the palette, how he's added in that light stone with the uh, Italian stone and such, and even the light stone there as well. And it has a really interesting look to it. I really, really, really like it. So that is pretty darn cool. Um, it's a beautiful castle. They have a really cool thing. Um, I really like how he arched that wall up there. That's a really big thing. Now, this tower here, I'm not too sure. I feel like these roofs are a bit much. I mean, maybe stairs would help them. I, I don't really think that these towers really need an overhang, to be honest. Like, I feel like... Um, if there's going to be an overhang, it should just be with the spruce. It shouldn't be with the uh, those um, clay blocks. Because uh, I just feel like those roofs are a little bit too bulky. I don't know. You guys might have uh, different opinions. Like even this one here. Um, these towers. I don't know. Um, you guys tell me what you think. I still think they're pretty nice. A very nice castle. Very interesting. Um, some weak points of the castle, I would say. This whole wall here seems to be a rather weak point. Like you can walk right up into the uh, the window there, etc. Um, I feel like there could be a different way of doing that. Okay, we got a couple uh, lift systems here. Uh, I'm guessing to open something or to pull up a. Uh, oh, they're elevators. Okay, so there's two elevator. Why? Why? Which is down here. Yeah, they're elevators. <laughs> that's very interesting. All right, um, that's very cool. I like that. But why is there two elevators? I don't know. One to go up, one to go down. Uh, the okay. So, anyways, that's pretty interesting. I like that. They got a little courtyard out there behind. Pretty interesting idea. And uh, let's go ahead and actually walk down the streets a little bit and see what there is to see. So you walk down, and then there's a draw drawbridge. A very, very, very big drawbridge. Very nice. Very big portcullis. Um, I almost feel like there should be a swing gate here. But I guess there really isn't any way to put a swing gate there. I, I don't know. There is a swing, bag, swing gate back here, though, which is really all that matters. So that's pretty cool. Um, they got a lot of different things going on here. Looks like this is where the dogs would be. I imagine this is where a, a guard dog would be back there. Also here, that is actually really cool. That is really interesting. Oh, I love that idea. That is really interesting. Now maybe um, one thing about that is maybe it's a weak point in the wall, but one way or the other, that's a really cool idea to have dog cages like that. Um, so whenever the enemy comes through, or maybe brigands or people that aren't supposed to come in, you know, you just loose the dogs and they'll go chow them to bits. So, but anyways, we're gonna walk through here a little bit. Um, looks like more kennels. That is really cool. I love this kennel design. Having um, those trap doors like that. Um, also the paintings with the other kennels and such. I don't want to go through the interiors too much. Uh, I just want to show you guys the basic idea. Um, I feel like there's a little bit too much room in here. I feel like there could be a hayloft up there or something. Uh, I just feel like this is like you come in and this is like a, a gymnasium in here or something. <laughs> but uh, it's still pretty cool. I like it. It's, it works. But uh, we're going to keep walking through a little bit, see if there's anything to see. Um, we got drains coming down from the roofs, and I'm sure he has a drainage system going on, which is pretty cool. You come into the Great Hall, you see the throne and such, and you have cannons up at the top, so if, like, you know, you could just press the button if he doesn't like somebody, and then these, like, they'll shoot cannonballs out or something at them and kill them, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, um, one of the interesting things about this plot is there is a lot surrounding also the boat interesting the boat definitely changed a little stubby but I'm sure that um, this was probably a first-time boat uh, that was built here but anyways it looks pretty interesting um, I feel like it could be a little bit longer though just giving little subtle hints here and there I guess 
I mean, it's just a uh, update video, but it's also, you know, a critique video, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is actually, oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna head on to the next one because uh, we have still a lot to go through. We're probably gonna have to rush towards the end to try to get this done. We're already at 10 minutes, goodness gracious. Anyway, this is Lava Lava Kid and uh, LM Dohar's castle, which is the one that uh, we've seen from the beginning. Um, still working hard on it. They're still going very well, and they're working on the surroundings and such. They made a village down here along with their winery. They have several buildings around. They're going to be building some farms out here and such. Um, there's a lot of good interior in here. We're just going to kind of breeze through really quick. Uh, I don't really want to spend too much time on this. We're just going to go up to the main entrance hall up here where the audience chamber is. And then you come through, you got these different like sort of decorative inlays where um, the uh, <laughs> you know, people that of particular notes are are put. As you can see, there's Monster Fish, me, and then uh, Velocity, but, you know, in a lore-based thing, you'd like the kings, like statues of the kings would be there. So uh, then you come in here, this is pretty cool, and this seat design, I wanted to particularly show you that. That is really cool. It's basically two beds, um, just the head part of the beds uh, pointing in together. That is... Like, that stands out to me, like, a lot. That is really, really cool. So, great job on that lava. Uh, really, really, really like that design. Beautiful, beautiful design. And, uh, but yeah, then there's that little thing there. Pretty cool. So, anyways, let's move on to our next one because we do not want to spend too much time because we have so much to see. Uh, we're only, we're not even halfway through the list yet. Anyway, this one here is, his, this one here is Creeper Killerman's castle. Uh, he has not progressed much on it, but as you can see, we're just going to take a slow fly around just to see what's going on. I really wish that he was going to finish this castle, but um, there's pretty much, I, I don't see how he's going to be able to finish this on time. But uh, it is a beautiful castle. It has a beautiful idea to it, and hopefully, will provide you guys with some inspiration because um, it definitely provides me with some inspiration. Um, it's a great castle. So we're gonna move on to our next one now. C five, C six. All right, C six is the egg crafter, or now is the vicious egg, as you can see, vicious egg. And uh, this is his castle, and this has definitely progressed a lot from our last update, as you can definitely see. Uh, the terrain has really come together, the castle has really come together, the town village down here really, and the palette is very well done. I really like how he's minimized this sort of icy stone, icy cobblestone towards the bottom. He has the icicles and such. Honestly, I really, really love this. This is like what I think of a Nord northern castle, like in the northern icy regions, I feel like this really sets the mood and uh, he's done a great job on this. Um, I just love walking through it and it's a lot of fun. Very, very interesting. He even has the particles coming down, like there's a little bit of snow, you know, like maybe there's like snow blowing off the roofs and it's like um, floating down. Let's see if he's worked on this area any. Um, so this here is the stables, I think. Okay, so he's closed this off now, I think. So let's go back out, actually. I want to see, because remember in my last update video, I was saying that this was all open here? Yeah, he did close it off, so that is pretty cool. Good job there, um, Egg. I really like that. Um, and I'm really looking forward to exploring through this castle more and seeing um, more that there is. And uh, there's more, like this is the hayloft up here. You have some more hay down here. And then you have the stables, one, two, three, four. Um, there is more stables around, um, scattered around. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I think that that will actually do for us, because uh, I just want to tease you guys. I want to show you the really cool stuff and then make you want to see it. There are no warps to these castles yet. They're just my homes. Uh, once they are finished, I am sure that there will be warps to all of the uh, finished ones. Um, so yeah, really cool. All right, so now we're going to go to the next one, which will be home C8, because uh, C7 wasn't uh, finished. All right, so this one is by Rohan McCaffrey. And... As you can tell from our last video, he has very much changed the terrain. 
the terrain is looking a lot nicer I love this side I love how it's looking maybe I would actually suggest Rohan add in some gravel like add in some gravel like down here like leak it up the side a little bit um like gravel is really indicates like where like the rock sort of slides and um you know it really like i would suggest like making little divots like even make some of this all gravel here and then like make a lot of this gravel down here i know you're not finished texturing yet but i just feel like gravel like the two types of gravel would really um help this and really add in a lot more uh, interest and texture to it so um, but right now even as it is it's looking really nice so great job but anyway the castle like I said before um, as in the last video is it's under siege and you have the two walls of defense with a moat in between and then you have the main keep and such going on here which is really interesting um, let's see he said he changed the throne room so let's see if we can find our way in I'm pretty sure it's right here all right so this is the throne room and yes yes I do like this this is looking a lot nicer than what it did before pretty cool there Rohan I like that um, now the throne maybe not I feel like the the iron doesn't really work um, <laughs> but yeah it's looking pretty nice I like that you got the sort of table the checkered tablecloth pattern which is pretty cool um, and overall I think it's pretty cool I feel like it maybe could use a little bit more detail but still one way or the other very good job on that and uh, we're gonna move on to our next castle now so actually the kitchen cool uh, I just love seeing this stuff this is they ah this is great I love it okay now let's go on to the next one c8 c10 is our next one uh, we're skipping c9 there we go so this one is by mafia kraken this is one that's a more recent castle and uh, it looks very nice uh so far the palette maybe is a little bit um it's it's pretty good uh but i feel like he could organize the palette a little more like put more of the darker towards the bottom and a little lighter at the top i don't know i feel like there could just be a little bit more organization to it and then you come in and then you're in the courtyard and such and you have the stables and you have the gates and such around really cool ideas going on <laughs> a little swing there and a little pile of books really great detail and uh, as you can see the interior is far from finished so um, hopefully Mafia will be able to get that done in a month and be able to have another submission so let's head on to our next one which will be C11 all right C11 is by T.S. Groot and Anne Hassel the all well-known flying castle <laughs> the balloon castle that I uh, know it has um, so but yeah it's a pretty interesting idea very I would say unique it's very interesting um, I think that they did a pretty good job with it um, they're working on the ground right now to add in more aesthetics and such like it's at dock or something as you can see there's some kind of factory here um, power plant something I, I'm not quite sure what's going on here but there is that maybe they're using the water from the swamp for something to refine it um, looks like some oil rigs going on here that's pretty cool um, or oil drills whatever so yeah pretty cool idea going on here guys uh, keep it up and I would definitely like to see some more of this so keep it up guys all right so now we're gonna go to C12 and this one is by Arcanus MC now he is making a uh, sort of desert themed plot as you can see you got the desert sort of um, scenario going on going on with the terrain water coming down and such and then this is where his keep is and then over here is where the actual sort of uh, laid out you know part of the castle is where all the blacksmiths and stables and servants and barracks and you know all that stuff is and then you come out here and that's like the village and such so that's pretty interesting I like this a lot um, I feel like this has a great potential in, before it and um, I think that uh, he should keep working on it so Arcanus keep building keep building yes all right so now we're gonna go into the next one C14 and C14 is by Franz and Galizia and I think Thregolas is working with them right now maybe more I don't know and so this is actually a really interesting castle and what really 
defines this is this view right here. Let me see if I can, yeah, let's render that up. Just look at that. That is spectacular. I love that view. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful castle. Um, I really like what they're doing here, and I really think that this is a has great potential for the contest and such, and uh, really looking forward. Just as a reminder, the judges for the contest are Velocity, Monsterfish, and I, and uh, we will figure out a very fair system in order to vote and, um, um, you know, for the winners of the contest and such, and I hope that everyone will be able to agree with them, and uh, so we'll see. Also, for those of you that are submitting outside the server, please... Um, you need to figure out how to send us the download to your castle or give us a way to come see it on a server, etc. Um, so that we can judge it. And uh, But yeah, would love to see the other entries outside the castle, outside Ravend. And I'm sure there are a few. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So now we're going to move on to our next one, which is C15. Now this one is by Coco something Coolman and somebody else I forget but <laughs> this one excuse me this one is a more realistic style castle it's not what we are used to on Raven um, this is a more of a Westro style I guess um, castle a Mediterranean Croatian I guess I guess wait is I don't even know where Croatia is to be honest I don't know all that European geography, but anyway, um, you come up here, you got a sort of uh, barbican going on here in order to get up to the main gate of the castle, which is right up here, and uh, then you get into the main gate, and you are in the inner courtyard. You got the kitchen to the left. Um, the coolest thing about this castle is the interior. They really did a really nice job setting up the interior to this castle, and um, the details are phenomenal. That's what I love a lot about this castle. We've already gone through it a little bit, I think, in our last update video. But we're gonna go through it a little more just to see what's going on. Looks like we got some kennels in here. Really interesting idea. Something that you guys typically wouldn't really think of, like just using one layer of fences like that. So that's a really interesting idea. And you come through here and such, and there's a lot more to see, um, especially up above. Uh, there's there's a lot to see. So we're we're actually not gonna explore through it too much, but. Um, the interior to this castle is really nice and I really hope that they finish this terrain and the back because that will really make the castle pop. That is what's going to really um, bring it together is how they do the terrain around. So we're going to move on to our final castle and I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, oh yeah, this one is by a new entry by Mac Z. Um, he is building a, a little castle going on here with a brick and um, yeah the brick uh, bah, 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 the brick palette and using the darker stone um, and then that sort of purplish stone uh, the slate stone and um, but yeah the bridge is looking really nice too I like the bridge a lot um, it's a pretty interesting idea going on there you got this little end piece here uh, you coming in and this is Berg Kulsum Kulsum Willkuma it Dirk Kulsum, William III, Earl of Kulsum. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. And uh, but yeah, the really cool thing about this is all the different things. Like you know, like even this little bridge here. Uh, castles should be, you know, well this castle at least. I, the aesthetic castles have a lot of features to them, and that's what's really stands out to me about this castle. It has all these features. And it doesn't look the same. Like everything looks different, and that is what is really cool, I guess. But you know, all the castles are like that. But like this one stands out to me because of the towers and such. Um, I really like this style of towers. It's a very um, Witcher, I guess, style tower. But uh, you know, that's just the way I know them. I'm sure there's a lot of other uh, towers just like that in other games and. Uh, real life and such, but I think they're really nice. I really like that tower design. You got the bell tower here, um, a really nice little gold bell going on, and a little elevator here to pull up some goods to the roof. And other than that, um, we have some great entries for this contest. I know this was a long video, and I apologize for that, but you know, there's just so much to get through. There's so many things to see, and I hope you guys enjoyed it one way or the other. Um, really excited about the contest and really excited about seeing more castles so I'm guessing that the, before the castle contest ends there might be one or two more uh, maybe two more update videos as we go along and hopefully you we will have a lot of entries and you guys will be able to finish your castles 
Uh, for those of you that might be angry about that, I apologize. I sincerely do, but um, uh, we really want to see. Again, like I said, for those of you that finish on time, send me a, a personal message on PMC or YouTube, and you will get a bonus for your um, submitting early. So, um, but the stipulation is: is it must be complete. You know. The immediate surrounding, like everything immediately surrounding the castle and the castle itself, like all the interior and everything needs to be finished. Um, you know, you could, people would then, like, what I'm trying to say is, um, when I'm saying immediately, immediate surrounding terrain, you know, like this kind of stuff, like just everything around just like that um, needs to be finished. Uh, you know, the outside doesn't necessarily need to finish. It's a bonus, I guess. Um, we might put the, like a bonus in for having the terrain and everything like an absolutely complete around but uh, one way or the other keep it up guys really really excited to see more and uh, I will see you guys on the next video uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um, keep building guys till the next one uh, bye bye